So, in case you didn't know, the comic book industry is kind of in a bad spot. It's not doing too well. Sales are way, way down. Though you do have a lot of good titles here and there. House of X, Powers of X, the X-Men brand is hot right now. Really good. But you know what they have on it? A talented writer. Jonathan Hickman is a great writer. They actually paid money for a good writer to come write books. And imagine that. It ends up being a good product. And I, I can't wait to see the numbers on that book because I bet you they're all selling pretty consistently good. However, a lot of the other comics are complete trash. Dumpster fire levels of garbage. I guess that doesn't make much sense, huh? <laughs> Dumpster fire level of garbage. But anyway, uh, the comic book industry doesn't make any sense either because it doesn't seem to be profit driven. They, they, don't, they have a strange marketing brand where it's like, comics are for everyone, which is fine. But that means they're trying to appeal to everybody by making like 300 books a month and only five of them are good. They hire based on ideology. They don't hire based on merit. If you uh, believe a certain amount of things, you're welcome to write comics. Look at what they did with Quinn, everyone's favorite celebrity. Uh, they brought her right over into Marvel. After she had a book, her first book was a DC Vertigo book that got canceled. Marvel's like, come on over and make a book. We're going to give you Hellcat right out of the gate. IDW, come on over and write a book. We're going to give you Adam's Family. If that doesn't tell you how bad comic books are right now, I don't know what else will. Because she has no business making comic books. She has no... Okay, I'll, I'll rephrase that. She could start a Kickstarter and do one. And then maybe people buy it. But you don't, you shouldn't just be able to walk into DC and Marvel with no experience and get a book. You should have had to have done something. She's done nothing. And the one time she actually did do it at DC Comics, she failed at it. So that should give you an idea of what you need to get in. Basically, uh, you just need to earn a status as some kind of uh, ideologue and you have a chance to write comic books. That's pretty much how it is. But... In the opposite direction, now they're going to go over to Japan and get actual qualified people to write books. I find this kind of like this kind of makes me mad and happy at the same time because I it'll be great to see Marvel characters written by qualified writers. But at the second at, at the other notion, I'm kind of mad because you have so many talented people that are probably itching to get work and you're not giving it to them because you would rather bring Quinn in to write Hellcat. So it's just, at this, you know, it's it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't, I guess. But I just, it kind of disgusts me. So Marvel Comics is living good these days with big name releases like House of X selling well. Still, the brand is ready to do more. And it seems Marvel's hoping Shonen Jump can help them out. Thanks to a new report, Marvel has confirmed its part in a new collaboration with Shonen Jump to create a slew of manga. According to this new update, Marvel Comics announced it will team up with Shueisha Brand to create six new manga releases. These titles will be released in Shonen Jump Plus in Japan. Now, I don't even know what Shonen Jump Plus is. I would imagine... So they must have two apps there, I would guess. They have normal Shonen Jump and then Shonen Jump Plus. And you probably pay extra for the Plus, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Somebody in the comics, I bet, knows what Shonen Jump Plus is. Please tell me. Uh, educate us, please. In Japan, and will be tackled by various manga creators. Now, here's the thing. They're not just getting, like, low-level stuff. They uh, For their first artist, well, it seems Marvel Comics went on big with collaboration. Shonen Jump scouted Yu-Gi-Oh! creator Kazaki Takashi to pen the first Marvel manga. So far, there is no release date attached to the Marvel manga deal, but fans are looking forward to the crossover. The announcement confirmed a slew of Shonen Jump editors are working on the collab alongside C.B. Sabolsky, who has plenty of history over in the Asian markets, the editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics. Of course, he got in trouble for that. If you remember the whole uh, Yakira, Akira Yoshida thing, uh, famously there was a, a writer that, that called him an ismphobe, and, of course, she he promptly hired her <laughs> later on for attacking him, which I found funny. The man has no spine, no backbone at all. He's uh, he's just a, a big gump sitting there eating his sandwiches and getting all the assistance coffee. 
because that's just how Sibolsky rolls. I don't think he has any power whatsoever. Now, of course, and they mention this in the article here, of course, this is not the first time Marvel has dipped into the world of manga. In the past, the publisher has done is its own manga titles. So I'd also like to point out that they've tried this before with anime. They did a Wolverine anime, an X-Men anime, and I think a Blade anime. I can't remember exactly how many shows there were, but I know there was a Wolverine one and there was an X-Men one. Those were made in Japan. They didn't do very well. I don't know how well these characters will mix <laughs> with, uh, you know, Eastern writers versus Western writers. I think anybody that's talented can take anything, to be honest. So we'll see what happens. But this seems kind of weird. I mean, why aren't you... Why are you doing... Are you trying to get these characters more popular over in Japan? I don't know what level of popularity they have over there. I know they had a Spider-Man show over there where he had a giant robot. That was really funny. <laughs> Typical Japanese style. It's like, let's give Spider-Man a gigantic mech. However, they're not. he's not going to have a mech. This looks like the take. We have some art here. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! author's art i believe and it looks pretty darn good i'm interested in this and i wonder if that's what this is all about is garnering any more interest or is there something else going on here okay now a lot of us have speculated that marvel comics is going to for sure shut down the market's just not there comic shops are closing uh sales are way way down they don't consistently stay up I've yet to see other than a handful of comics stay consistently selling. And even so, there's only like 10 comic books that stay above like 80,000 units. Other than that, they start slowly tripling down to nothing and then they get canceled. Now, recently, IDW was outsourced uh, Spider-Man, The Avengers, and I think another book, Captain Marvel, I think too. I, I'm not sure. But they have a couple of comic book... IDW has a couple of Marvel comic books not made by Marvel. IDW makes them. And a lot of us have speculated that in the comic books, comic book YouTube that this is to test the waters to see how well they do and that Disney will eventually shut down Marvel comics and turn them into like a, a license master. Like they'll monitor the brand, see how things are going over at IDW. And now maybe over at Shonen Jump. So they're going over there and saying, hey, we, they, they, and by the way, they went to pretty much the best. I mean, Shonen Jump is exactly the target audience that they would want to reach over there. And that's young dudes. That's exactly what Shonen Jump is supposed to try to get. I mean, it's literally called, uh, I think, boy, young boy. I think that's what Shonen Jump translates to. So they're going to the right area to sell their comic books. Well, excuse me, manga. I wonder, right, would they possibly be looking to create a manga verse and bring it over here to the West? They could sell them exactly like how they do manga books, one, two, three, you know, you get volume one, volume two, and uh, you could grab that market because people, you know, we, we say comics are doing bad, but American comics are the ones doing bad. Manga is doing quite fine over here in the West. Uh, much better than Marvel comic books or American comics are in general. So you go over there, you get them to bring it over here. You might be able to spark interest in these characters again and get that manga crowd to take a look at them. But, you know, are they going to unshackle them, let them do what they want? Or are they going to give them the same kind of... Uh, politics that you have to do in the american comic books over here because there's only a handful of american comic books that are really good i think maybe like five or six are really good the rest of it is all trash and that's that's the difference between you know western and eastern book eastern books they just tell you the story you know the western books uh, they have a set of rules guidelines and regulations and uh, woke levels that they have to abide to if they want to sell and make their book. So I'm wondering if they're going to outsource to IDW and to Shonen Jump. Imagine, you know, they shut down the line, but like, hey, here are these manga books that you can read now. 
Like, we're going to have all these coming out of Japan. I don't know. This is all speculation. We'll see. This could be just to get the manga people interested. I'm not sure. Time will tell. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're still subscribed. And share the video. Check out my Twitch, Yellow Flash Comics. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.